Hi, I'm Mayor David Black, and this is City Happenings. The newly formed Terra Plaza Business Association hosts a distracted driving event that they want you to know about. And Sumter Amphitheater has great events going on all summer long. Coming in August is what is considered the top Beatles tribute band in the business. We'll tell you more. Wednesdays are special at Sump Library. We'll show you why. Please enjoy City Happenings for the week of July 30th. Thanks, Mayor Black. Distracted driving has become a major topic. The Terra Business Association sponsors an event to help prevent this dangerous practice. We have an outstanding lineup. We're very fortunate. You know, they say Papillion's the best place to live, but it's also the best place to work. When I called and asked the community for their support, everybody jumped on board immediately. I could not believe how warm how warmly we were, were received. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I, and that's how I came up with the concept, is Allied Insurance is bringing somebody out of state and they're bringing a simulator. And this simulator, you're actually going to have a wheel. We're going to sit behind a wheel and you're going to be able to use your own cell phone. So you can't say it's because you're not familiar with that cell phone. You're going to be using your own cell phone and they're going to have a driving simulator to show you how dangerous it really is to text and drive. Also, they're going to have fatal vision go uh, goggles and they're going to have three different distinct levels um, during the day drinking as well as at night. And so you will walk about eight to nine feet and see the difference in how the effects are. Because a lot of people don't, don't have a true concept of how it is when you drink and drive. And then in addition to that, um, we are going to have a guest speaker who's going to be speaking at 1230. His name is Rob Reynolds. And it really drives home the reason why we're doing this is because unfortunately he lost his 16-year-old daughter uh, due to someone else who was seriously distracted at the time and, and took her life. We've uh, run the CAR organization now for five years, the CAR Alliance for Safer Teen Driving at saferteendriving.org. And when we first started the, uh, well, when we first had the idea, it was actually on the way home from the hospital after Katie had passed. And we said if we could just prevent one family from having to go through what our family did, that would be enough. And the more we started talking about it, the more we started raising the issue, and the more people started responding to it, we said, you know what, it's, it's too small to think in terms of just one family. We want to make it much broader, and we can make it much broader. We've now uh, surpassed 10,000 teens who have been through our programs, and thousands more adults. So it's a milestone for us, and it's a way of saying, uh, you know, we're honoring Katie's memory, and we're also doing something good out of something that's really bad both of which was very important for us. I've talked to, at this point, I've talked to probably close to a thousand victims' families. And every time I, I talk to people in different stages, I can recognize those stages of healing that they're in. And for some people, it's doing what we're doing, which is reaching out and educating and really changing people's minds. For other people, uh, they're dealing with their grief is, is a much different thing. It's much, uh, much more introverted and personal. But for us, it really has been part of the healing process. Uh, that isn't to say that that's for everyone. I don't think everyone should be speaking uh, uh, about it because for some people, it's just, it's just too hard to, to talk about. But I think when you do connect real people to the number of a death or a, a, a really bad injury, when you put a person in, in front of that and you say, this is who that person was, it makes the, uh, the argument that much more compelling. And it does change minds. I used to be a teacher in the okay. Department of Corrections, and one of the classes I taught was about accountability, and that was one of the most effective classes I ever taught, because I actually had people from the community that came in and spoke, of, you know, this lady, she lost her daughter that was murdered, so they got to see up close and, and you know, personal, the, the domino effect, when, they, when you commit a crime or you hurt someone, it's not just you that's impacted, it goes way far back. So, and I, and I worked I worked in a transitional facility with those who had gone to prison for multiple DUIs and stuff. So I think that there's, if, if a person is open to the information, I don't think there's anyone who won't benefit from it. I really do. I think on both aspects. And I don't know if I mentioned, but MAD's going to be there as well. So they're going to be disseminating information on underage drinking, how to talk to your teens, and the importance of not drinking and driving. So they'll be there as well. So, no, I, I, I don't think we need to dismiss either side of the equation. Both sides are very important. Oh, I'm, I'm passionate about it. I really, really, from the bottom of my heart, pray that the community will respond, you know, in kind. I really do. It will be heartbreaking if they don't. I really will. Because uh, I really feel that um, everyone involved, Unico Insurance Group, Allied, the Terra Plaza, the community people that are the vendors are all giving 110% to make this possible. And um, I just hope that, that they'll you know, take advantage of that.
Get ready for what is considered the best Beatle tribute band around, and they're coming to Sumter Amphitheater. Fab Four is the uh, probably the number one in quality touring Beatles tribute bands that is is happening today. Um, they always draw really well around the country. Um, we've, uh, we're, we're lucky to have them. It's, uh, but it's not just a concert. It's just not guys up there playing Beatles tribute uh, or playing Beatles music. It is a better part of multimedia experience. What fans are going to see when they come down is they are going to see the Beatles dressed up. Uh, in the early days. They look, they sound, their show is exactly like early Beatles. Then they take a real quick break, they do a costume change, and they get mid-career uh, Beatles, and then they do another uh, costume change, and they do they do late Beatles. So it's a, uh, it, it is more of a stage show, as you will, uh, than just a, your traditional concert, and we have yet to have something uh, that uh, of that style out here in the last couple of years. Okay. This group will be bringing a host, uh, and that host is Ed Sullivan, or a, an Ed Sullivan look-alike. So it's, he will be guiding you through the concert. Um, it's, it's just going to be, it's going to be a, a great event for us, and it, another bit of diversity that we have um, just to show that in, in our ticketed events that yes we do have the Lucky Bucket Music Festival but Fab Four is going to be an all ages show. It's going to be uh, you know it's it's a suitable for the for the whole family. Um, so we're, we're offering just more diversity and uh, in entertainment and in family style entertainment. Sump Library offers live interactive entertainment on Wednesdays. Well, we call them Wild and Wonderful Wednesdays or Wacky Wednesdays because they bring in so many, so many community people, so many children. One of the most popular acts is magician Jeff Quinn. Well, Jeff has been a great performer. I've known Jeff for almost 10 years now, and he's always has a great show. And it's a great show for the parents and grandparents for all ages. Oh man, Sump, the people here are just amazing. They're great people. I've been coming to Sump Library every year for, gosh, I don't know how many years, at least 10 years. And the people are always great. The audiences that come here, the kids that come out and see me, their parents that come and see me, they're just a wonderful audience. I always have a great time coming here. We have over 300 here this afternoon, so we're, we're really excited to have them here and, and hope that they participate in the summer reading program and, and read books and enjoy uh, Jeff as a magician. Uh, people should come out here on Wednesdays because it's going to be a fantastic time. There'll be a different presenter every week, lots of opportunities to see your friends and, and get to know the people at the library. There's still plenty of summer activities in Papillion. The police department's annual kickoff, the National Night Out, is set for Sunday, August 5th at Papio Bay. Also, coming up in August is the Twilight Bike Criterium. It's set for August 18th. If you've never seen a bike race, please come out and enjoy this great event. And there are lots of ways to stay up to date with what's going on in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, watch the YouTube channel. And of course, information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more information about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.